Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monday Cake here and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit videos using VideoPad Video Editor. It is a free software that anyone can use to ed edit any of your type of videos or if you're just trying to create something nice for something, somebody, a project you may have. Um, just, I'm just going to go right into it. Guys, if you do not know how to get VideoPad, let's just quickly start from there. Uh, first things first, you're just gonna want to open up a new tab and type in video pad and it's gonna be this one right here video pad or video editing software free download easy movie editor you want to click that link and it's going to bring you to this page here then from here you're going to want to press this red download now for windows button once you click that it should go to your downloads in the top right well that's at least where mine is might be in the top left for you you don't know once it's done downloading, you just want to go ahead and click open file, and you're going to get this little thing right here. You're going to want to click yes, because like all apps, you got to click yes. Then you're going to want to see that you're just going to see this page, and this is just going to be your license agreement. You're just going to have I accept the license, and you're going to click next, and your video pad will download on your computer. Now, VideoPad is a really easy software to use and super simple. It's going to boot up right away as soon as it's done. Uh, super safe uh, as you can see by my Norton security it is safe to use once you're there you're gonna click on it and it's gonna have all these different little things around you you can go ahead and read them if you want or just continue watching the video you're gonna want to click here click to get started and you're gonna be brought into this project base right here now this is gonna be your main dash area slash hub for your video in making you're gonna have your video tracks here along with your audio tracks and a lot of buttons on the top that and now I just gonna go th right here and say this is one of the easiest softwares that you could possibly do to edit videos as well as it being completely 100% free. Now there is a thing about VideoPad. Once you use it once they're gonna make you have to buy it. Now no one wants to spend money on a video editor especially if they're like me and they only have a couple thousand subscribers. So what you're going to want to do if this happens is every time you use video pad and you make a video, you have to delete it and then re-download it. And the way to do that is you're going to go down here to your little windows and wherever your video pad is, so be in the V's, you're just going to left or right click on it and then you're going to hit uninstall and then you're going to completely uninstall it from your computer and then re-download it like we already did in the video. Now showing you the basics of how to video edit on video pad right here there is this little open folder menu that you can do you can press this and you can go to your files and you can click on whatever you want to edit so you can go to your videos you can go oh hey i want to i want to edit this video and you hit open i personally don't like that approach i personally like minimizing the screen off of here and then i personally like to open up my own files on my second Thing and putting it over on my second monitor now if you guys don't have a second monitor you really don't need it you can just go ahead and you can minimize the window like such you can just minimize it right here and then go or you can make it a little bit bigger than that because that's a little small but what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna grab whatever video you want to edit now most of my videos will save in the video thing so I'm just gonna use this one as an example you're just gonna grab and you're gonna go over and you're gonna drop it in it's gonna go ahead and copy the files over onto video editor as a video pad as you can see right here then once you have your video in you just want to give it like 30 seconds to a minute just for it to breathe because it is going to go through and make sure it gets all the files all the audio all that stuff together and made now at this time I'm gonna say the easiest thing to do is to get all the files you might need things so YouTube here I actually have music I have scenes and I have YouTube audios all for the thing so let's say I want to use the audio uh, uh, why why are you why are you running you know the the, the thing that's this let's say I want to I want to use that audio I'm just gonna click quickly just drag in all these audios that I possibly would want for my thing so if I'm editing and I want to use funny silly audios I'm gonna do that if I have multiple videos that I'm trying to do I'm gonna do that too so like let's see here like the office just gonna drag all these over uh, my outro yep gotta do that 
all these videos, everything that you possibly need for your video, you're going to want to drag it in as soon as you can, and then wait a little bit for it to boot up, and then when it's just done, you can go ahead and maximize, and we can start editing. Now, basics of editing in Video Editor are super simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to obviously want to grab whatever video you're editing, and you're going to quickly drop it down in here. It's going to paste with its video as long as it's audio file. Now, this little red line indicates where you're at. This number is up here, indicates how long it is and what duration you're on. If you guys want the volume to be a little bit quieter, you can always go down here to these audio tracks and you can mute your volume as low as you want. If you go ahead and use the volume here, it is actually going to lower everything that's in here. Like, let's say I go over here and I put in well, the why are you running here? That means that if I turn this down to, let's go like four, like 40, then that means it's going to turn all these audios down to 40. If I just want this audio down to 40, you're going to want to keep that back at 100. And you're just going to want to click this little button right here, this little sound icon. You're going to click it and it's going to have its own separate thing that you can turn down to 40. And you just press OK. If you do not want a clip in it, the easiest thing to do is just to click on it. It'll be highlighted like this, and then you just come over here, and you hit delete, and it goes away. Now that is how you change sound quality. So, let's say... Here, let's take a preview for a second. Yo, what's up guys? Money Cake here. Welcome back to Mel Davis. Let's say this vi let's say this video I have right here isn't I want it to be a little bit quieter. What I'm going to do is just go here. This is going to be your split tool. You're going to want to click on this red thing. It's going to pop up these three things. This is going to be the scissors, which is your split, and then you're going to have a set start time and a set end time, which I usually don't mess with cuz uh, we don't like uh, I don't like timers. I just like to split which is basically if you go ahead and zoom in, which is the bottom button right here, you can go ahead and grab this and drag. It's going to zoom in to where your cursor is, the red thing right here, or you can just use a scroll wheel. The farther you zoom in, the less seconds you have in between. But what it's basically did is it split the audio from here, or it split the videos here, meaning that I can go all the way out and I can move this all the way over there, and now I have two separate files, basically. So let's say I don't want th I want this one to be a little bit more quieter than this part. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna click on our mute our mutey button right here, and we're gonna say we want it to be on nine. Then we can re-listen to it. Maybe it's a little too quiet, so we're gonna add it a little bit more. And that seems about right, so we're gonna enjoy that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drag this over till we see these little white dots appear up on the top right over here. If you see those right there, and that means that you're all synced and lined up on the same track. Now that is how you split audios. You can split as many times as you want, creates a gap, helps keep the alignment of your thing. So let's say, uh, let's say right here, this is a really funny part. I'm going to split right here and I want to put in the the why are you running meme. I'm going to go ahead and you can put it right on this red line. It's going to tell you exactly where it is and you're going to drop it and it's going to line everything up for you. So now whenever this part hits, this part will give the audio such as right here. That was actually really good timing. <laughs> uh, so that is how you do it. And separate audios all have their own separate buttons down here to change volume. So if I want to mute, I technically can. Then I won't have to hear the audio anymore. So splitting is super easy tool, super simple to use. Anything that you really need to do, it is just right there for you. Uh, moving on. <sighs> if you have two separate files, so let's say you have a your video right here, uh, but then like me, I have my own separate outro made into my own video. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and drag it on the end. Now, in between videos, if you wanna throw in a quick transition such as a fade or anything cool, it's gonna be this button right here. 
add video transition. It's going to be in between every single little dot you make. So if I cut here, look, there's an image above it. It's just going to be these swirly lines. You're going to want to go ahead and click it, and you're going to get all of these different transitions to use. Some of them are going to overlap on time. So let's say, let's use the blur one. Actually, let's go. Let's not. Hold up. Let's go no transition real quick. All right, let's say we want to use the circle because we want our stuff to show up in a circle. Now, it's going to show up with overlapping transition. All you're going to want to do is press yes, move the clip for over overlapping transition. It's all that is doing is because the transition will start, You want the transition technically hits here. But in order for it to be fully synced, it has to overlap a little bit. So rather than it starting here, it's going to start a little bit back here. So if you see that, you see the, the, the circle coming in. And here's your transition. So the ending of the video into my uh, ending. So there's a, the transition for it. Then you can just see. Go ahead and quick. Let's see the blur. We like blur. So this is the blur, you go ahead and hit, and all of a sudden it blurs out into the scene, and like that. And that is how you do transitions. Now, a couple more simple tasks that we're going to involve into this video. Uh, editing, effects. Everybody likes really cool effects. Let's say you have a green screen in the background. Like if I had a green screen right behind me. Uh, simple thing, simple thing to do. You're going to want to go ahead and find the clip that you want. Let's say this part where I am clearly flipping off the camera. Sorry about that. You clearly do not, uh, you, you clearly have a green screen behind you. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to split that area. And let's say, let's say my green screen accidentally fell right here well now i don't have a green screen anymore so everyone gotta see the background you're gonna want to go ahead and click on this part right here and there's two ways to get to this one way you can just go ahead and click here and you want to go ahead and click effects and all these effects will bring up all these effects you have motion and transition effects which is where you can crop you can mirror you can motion you can rotate you can change the position you can change the scale uh, all these different cool effects that you can do just to help you edit. Like, let's say I want to change the scale, and I want the position of the thing over here. Like, let's say I want it over there now. Now, let's say I have a green screen behind me. You're just going to go scroll down here till you have green screen. It's going to bring up this, and all you're going to have to do is just click on this green box. You're going to want to move this over. You want to click on this, and then you're going to click on wherever your green screen is. So, it will click it will pick the color from the background. Like, let's say my green screen's red. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to take out that poor Spider-Man because it's going to think that it's a green screen. So, pretty simple to use. Really easy. And now, if we click out of here, we should see they have the exact same hand that hand our clip sideways. changes to the top left and scales and now is green screen for some reason. Don't know why I did that, but I did. And that's just basically your effects area. Anything you want, you just click on whatever clip that you need. Go ahead and click on the, your effects. And there's a thousand different things to do. There is a lot of motion and transitions. There's aspect ratio. There's blending and colors. There's filters. There's creative overlays. One plug in. And then if you guys want more effects, you can click on this right here. This button is our effect mask. And it's going to show up with five different types of masks if you want to use it. I honestly don't use masks because I do not believe they are good enough, but I do use the regular effects such as cropping. If I wanted to, let's say, let's take this office uh, piece for example. Let's quickly watch what uh, what our office, here, hold up. Let's quickly watch what this clip is. So that's our office clip. Let's say we want to put it up right about here. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to drag this clip and put it at the top right here. Now, it's going to be overlapping your previous clip. But, see the circle? This thing right here is your scale. The more you drag it in, the smaller it gets. 
then you can have your horizontal offset and along with your rotation and then if you just grab it you can move it so like let's say i want the office to be this little clip to play at the top right pretty smallly right over here that's perfect because now when the clip hits you'll see it pops up in the top right See, just like that, and then I'll go away when the clip ends. Pretty simple to use. Now, when you're done with your videos, guys, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit export video up here. Now, there's a lot of things I did not discuss in this video. If you guys want a more advanced and explicit uh, form of video editing of video pad, let me know in the comments below and I will make a more advanced video. This is just learning the basics and trying it out for yourself. After all, it is a free software to use. Now, when you are done and you have finished your masterpiece of audio or video or anything that you want to make with your imagination, go ahead and click export video up here. Exporting video will go ahead and show you all of these different options all you just want to gonna do is press video file you're gonna bring up this thing it's gonna say video pad trial version now you are going to press i will purchase later because nobody wants to purchase a video pad you want to use the free version okay you're gonna want to press i will purchase later and you're gonna be brought up to these export files you can go ahead and quickly name your video such as Let's say this was a Spider-Man Funko Pop video. Pretty simple. You just name it. Boom. It go ahead and does it. Now I can hit cancel if I don't like it. But we're going to go ahead and go back. We're going to go ahead and name it Funko video. And we're going to go ahead and change some settings here. Now. The file format, we always like P, uh, MP4. Our resolution, we are going to want to go as high as you possibly can for your thing. Now, I usually go with the 1280-720p, uh, but you could technically go 1920-1080 because my webcam technically is a 1080p webcam, but I usually rock the 720. Now, this widescreen fit is how it's going to show up on a video platform. I go ahead and stretch because it takes up the amount of space possible. Like, let's say my monitor here, I would take it from corner to corner to corner to corner rather than it being a letterbox and taking it from like here to like here. You know, you're going to want to stretch the thing. I like using as much space as possible. And that's basically it. Then you just want to hit create and it's going to download. And downloads can take anywhere between in my, uh, In my uh, experience with VideoPad, downloads can take anywhere between one minute to as fast as your graphics card and computer can run. Now, I myself have a computer with an Intel Core i5 and a graphics card of a GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Uh, so my videos uh, normally take about two minutes to fully uh export and when they're exported they're just going to go straight into your videos file that you got all your clips from right here it's just going to go right here spider-man funko pop video just like that and that's it guys that is all the basics to video pad video editor if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and consider subscribing guy everybody who is not subscribed i do consider subscribing i make great content and i could use all the help for the channel if you guys want a more advanced uh video in the future please go ahead and let me know in the comments below i will be more than happy to make an advanced video pad video editor tutorial and that's going to be it for me today thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and as always stay safe have a good one